one of the Teal Independents, Dr. Monique Ryan, member for Kuyong, uh, was uh, this week uh, demanding a national summit on uh, COVID because uh, uh, the what, uh, what Australia definitely needs is another summit after the snooze fest of the Jobs and Skills Summit. Uh, but uh, who are they going to got... invite to the summit? I mean, presumably it's to discuss. Um, the best scientific way to deal with COVID. Oh, well, um, and, how and many other special what, interests? What, what she would, uh, what she would want, without saying, is you know planning for more restrictions. But uh, she she uses these uh, cryptic phrases and uh later on in this uh, uh this uh montage i've put together she's confronted about uh, her own use of masks even though i would love it to go away i'd love it to go away we'd all love it to be gone it hasn't gone and it's not going away we need to be cognizant of that and we need to be responsive to it and give people a sense of how we're going to deal with this over the next six to twelve months we all remember how awful last summer was, the summer of Omicron. If a new variant emerges from the northern winter, as is likely, we don't have a plan at this point for how we're going to deal with that. F fatigue and messaging are the two most important things here. And what the government needs to do, and I, I would hope that a summit would achieve this, is to rejig things, get everyone into the same room. The economists, the, the people from industry, the healthcare workers, people from secondary and tertiary education, childcare, disability care, aged care, and say, look, we can't get rid of this. It's with us. We have to deal with it. We'll do it together. How are we going to do that? Well, this is the plan if we have a small scale outbreak. This is what happens if we get something moderately nasty coming towards us. And this is what the plan will be if it, you know, if it all really goes to hell over summer. And then everyone understands what the future looks like and on what basis those decisions are being made. Can the minister please explain how he proposes to manage the oncoming national significant burden of disability and chronic illness. Put your masks on from repeated infection. Order. From, from repeated members, infection with COVID-19. You don't always wear a mask inside. In fact, Sky News has been sent a video of you at a local event in Hawthorne. I just want to show it to you, dancing in, in cl close quarters with others at the Hawthorne Community Chest Trivia Night. That was August 19, less than three weeks after you told your parliamentary colleagues to put on the mask. Isn't there an inconsistency there? Uh, look, as I said, Karen, I don't always wear a mask. I don't wear a mask if I'm eating or drinking. Uh, if I, <laughs> I didn't know you had that video. It's interesting who you've chosen to show in that video and who's, who's been edited out of it. But um, uh, look, I, I think, you know, the reality is that COVID is with us. And we need to live with it. And we need to keep each other safe mm. as best we can. And we all have to make individual decisions at different times based on the circumstances. I don't eat, drink, sleep and wash in, in a mask, but I do wear a mask where sure. I'm, I'm worried about keeping the people that I work with safe. But I guess the reason why I think it's relevant and I guess the reason why Sky News was provided with the video is because it's the question of do you practice what you preach or is this hypocritical from you? Well, I do wear a mask when I'm at work. I wear a mask when I'm around other people and I feel I can't socially isolate. I don't keep a mask on 24-7. This question, is, I'm not talking, you know, you can go after me, Karen, that's absolutely fine. It's, it's not a problem. I think what would be better would be to concentrate on how do we best keep Australians safe from what is the biggest um, concern to our health care in our mm. generation. Sure. Well, surely... Having no plan is a plan, and well, um, we are, if it were up to yeah, me, that would be my plan. Over, like she, but uh, of course, uh, because uh, there's not uh, all the rules that uh, she would like there to be, particularly uh, masks. Even though, well, as with, uh, I added a, a few extra maskless photos of her at the the footy where. You can't socially distance and her at work meeting uh, Jacinta Ardern. You can see with what she was saying is like, without saying, there's like, oh, we need a plan for increased restrictions because uh, we've got to be concerned that summer is is coming and there, there could be a new variant. Even though Omicron, 
uh, came from Southern Africa, where it was spring, summer, like it was uh, Australia. And last summer was was great. Uh, the milder Omicron strain gobbled up all the deadly uh, Delta, made our PCR and contact tracing system uh, collapse. And so ever since then, it's just been a gradual uh, decrease in government interference. Also, and that's the other thing. I mean, if if you do buy the story that government needs to plan around future COVID outbreaks, um, the, the 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 number of variants that there are that we don't even talk about in the media because they're not sexy or numerous, um, oh. are countless. Yeah, and uh, by the time you write your plan, it's already out of date for you know whatever other mild uh, variant comes along. Um, I mean, she's, she's just applying leftist economics to everybody else's private lives.